Hello, my name is Anthony Henry. I am one of the Bible School teachers at the Southside Church of Christ in Los Angeles, California. I'd like to welcome you to this Bible School moment on spiritual survival during these unusual times when we are staying at home due to the coronavirus. Disconnected. Overwhelmed. Difficult. Frustrating. Togetherness. It's challenging because I'm a I'm very sociable and I miss being physically connected with my friends from work, my friends from school. I miss my church family. You know, sometimes you miss those handshakes and those those hugs. But it's a happy medium because by being in the house, it also give me uh, connects me more with my family. I'm so thankful that all my family is home together. This is a challenging situation and being at home can be overwhelming. Even though we're at home, I'm still working. I'm still a wife, a mother, an employee, a manager. There are a lot of things that I still need to take care of. It just feels like sometimes there's a lot on my shoulders. Being in the house all day is, is real difficult right now for me. Um, I'm a social bug. I'm not used to being a homebody. So I'm, this is teaching me how to be a homebody. So just stepping out of my comfort zone, it's just really, really hard for me right now. It just takes a lot of adjusting. Being at home doesn't affect me as much because I am an introvert, I am antisocial. So being at home is something that I'm used to, but one thing that I'm not used to, which is frustrating, is the school environment. It's, it feels like we're being homeschooled, so not being in the school environment really takes away from my learning, and I obviously miss a lot of my friends and stuff. I think that it's fun being here because we're all, we all together at the same time. It's just, hard for me to adjust about not being at school. You just heard my family talk about how they feel being at home together all the time because of COVID-19 these last three weeks. Families that are used to being away at work and school during the day are now home together 24 seven. Adults are working remotely while kids are learning online. There will likely be no graduation or prom or other end of the school year activities. Birthdays and anniversaries are being celebrated with just those in your household. With everyone home all the time, the electric bill is going up and so is the grocery bill. When kids are at school, many skip lunch just to play or hang with their friends. But because they are home, they eat three meals a day plus some. No matter how big or small your house is, when you're all home together all the time, it doesn't seem like there's enough room. For those of you who are single, being at home can seem very lonely. Going through all this can cause frustration, even for Christians. How can we spiritually survive in times like these? I'd like to share with you four key things that should be in your spiritual survival kit. A fan, healthy snack, water, and a little heart. A fan is designed to cool you off when the temperature is heated. When things get heated around you, it doesn't mean that you have to get heated. Keep your cool. Ephesians 4.26 says to be angry, but sin not. When you lose patience with yourself or others, you have to be careful not to let Satan get a foothold as it states in verse 27. You know, life is like a game of chess. Move wisely and don't allow Satan to get you in checkmate. Be patient with yourself and one another, considering that you want others to be patient with you. Ephesians 4, 2 and 3 states, always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's fault because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourself united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. In a world where there is chaos, we need to have a place of peace. A good place to start is in your home. 
The next item in your spiritual survival kit should be a healthy snack. A healthy snack will help you stay nourished longer than junk food. We have to watch what we put in our bodies and mind. What are you feeding on daily? CNN, social media, video games? Matthew 5, 6 states, you're blessed when you work up a good appetite for God. He is the food and the drink and the best meal you'll ever eat. Fill yourselves with the word of God. Now that we have more time on our hands, there is no excuse not to set aside time for God and study his word every day. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. The third item for your spiritual survival kit is water. Stay hydrated. Water is important for our bodies. Studies show that humans need food and water to survive. We can live up to three weeks without food, but only about three days without water. In John 4 and 14, Jesus told the Samaritan woman that anyone who drinks the water I give will never be thirsty again. The water I give people will be like a spring flowing inside of them. It will bring them internal life. Jesus is our living water. We need Jesus every day. Study, pray, be thankful, praise him. Develop a close and personal relationship with him. Take Jesus with you everywhere you go, especially in the home. Finally, we all need a little heart. We need love and compassion in times like these. 1 Peter 4 and 8 reminds us, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sin. In these times where so many people are getting sick and dying, the things that we are getting upset about are trivial. 1 Corinthians 13 tells us what love is and what it isn't. Verse 7 reminds us that love never gives up on people. So how can we survive at home in the midst this coronavirus. 1 Corinthians 16, 13 to 14 says, listen, stay alert, stand tall in the faith, be courageous, and be strong. Let love prevail in your life, words, and action. I pray that you were encouraged by this Bible moment. A question for you to consider. What happens when all this is over and you take off the mask? Stay tuned for the next Bible moment. This is Anthony encouraging you to stay plugged in to God and his word. Be the 